What's up everybody, Wheeler here. Day 15 of the grounding challenge. I think I've done it other days without recording, but I'm really only counting the days I actually record and check in on everybody. Here we are going outside grounding. I got a grounding pad coming in the mail. I'm super stoked about it. Um, I also bought a multimeter uh, to test out the conductivity of the blanket. And I also bought a, well, I got, I got one of the, um, it's a half sheet and I got a sheet that comes with a ground checker. So that way I can check the ground in my room to see if I can just plug it into the wall. Super stoked. Um, most of the studies I look at for grounding or earthing, um, I think a lot of them use, uh, grounding sheets or grounding pads when people were sleeping. So you get the full, like you know eight hours of contact with the earth and uh they found that it reduced cortisol so reduced stress hormone which is something i totally need and reduced inflammation speaking of reducing inflammation i'm gonna cover a few things of why exercising is good for you so number one it reduces inflammation number two exercise also redu reduces cortisol Number three, it reduces your risk of heart disease. Number four, it re reduces your risk of type two diabetes. Number five, it makes you smile, it makes you happier, it makes you more physically fit. There you go. Um, it makes you, elevates your vibration, it, it enhances your mood, it enhances your cognitive functioning. Um, it, re you know, increases your heart rate, so it reduces plaque build up in your arteries it makes it can make you know it, it wakes up your brain so in in essence it can make you smarter so so everyone even though it's winter make sure you get somewhere when you wake up do jumping jacks that's what i sometimes do to try to wake up in the morning um you know if you can do some push-ups or go for a walk around your block outside if um, you're in the right health for it uh, run in place. You can run in place for like five, ten minutes. Do some circuit workouts. You could do push-ups. Do ten push-ups. Run in place for thirty seconds, and then do sit-ups for twenty seconds, and then do mountain climbers. You you don't you don't need a lot of space, and you don't need a whole gym to work out. Um, and this could be even walking around the mall. Um, if you work at an office, getting out of your chair and walking around the office, if there's places to walk, walk around the cubicles, just walk somewhere. I know when I'm work, when I'm at work, uh, I sit at a desk a lot and I gotta get up and I do some yoga stretches um, in places where there's not other people. And I make sure I just kind of walk around and sometimes do some like push-ups, or I do like just some, some uh, squats without weights, just to get my knees moving and my muscles moving and I do some stretches. I know if I sit still too long, I start getting tired. I start, my mood goes down and uh, I get less um, efficient. So my um, productivity goes down. So make sure you're working out this winter and in general, um, just like 30 minutes a day if you can of even mild exercise, it's good. So ho hopefully you guys are all having a good winter Today, the Packers play the Seahawks just in a little bit. Go Pack Go. Let's go, baby. Um, I'm also I'm a fan of Russell Wilson, too. So we'll see. This is a good matchup. All right, everyone. Peace. Love. Have an amazing day.